you have not yet to get your hands on a paint kit, um, no worries, you can still get creative with your kiddos at home, especially if um, you're able to provide them with uh, computer paper, construction paper, um, maybe even a cardboard, that as well, just kind of, that's the point of getting creative. Uh, crayons, markers, um, that way they can paint along with you um, after you receive your paint kit. And so um, if you'd like to take a look at some of the materials that I found around the house, um, please feel free to do so. So we are using one of my personal favorite, Ladybug Love, uh, one of our little brush paintings here. Okay. However, I know it is a painting, but you can still replicate this artwork with crayons. And I have here a sketch pad, but these are some things that if you are able to um, to be accessible to are available at your dollar stores. Um, if not, regular computer paper will work as well as far, and also uh, construction paper um, too. So these are some of the materials, not a lot. You don't need a lot, and this is just an example of what I will be showing you for this specific art tutorial. But that's the thing about little brushes. They love to be creative. They can draw butterflies if they like, um, birds, um, robots. I've seen that happen before. So um, it's all about getting creative. All right, let's get started. Um, so the pro tip to any painting that you do, um, they, it comes in two layers, which is the first thing that you need to establish is the background. Right, so the first thing I'm going to go ahead and put in for this ladybug glove is the sky and the grass. So that way the ladybug can come last and just some really, really basic art techniques. I'm just coloring in the sky and the sky portion is going to be the top left corner. And your kiddo can feel free to scribble in the sky if they like, just have fun with it. What I personally like to do, um, I like to hatch and cross hatch. Um, I know that sounds a little <laughs> advanced, advanced, but um, this is what I do. I can scribble too, just to kind of fill in the space, darken up the space. But these are only the specific colors I'm using. You and your kiddo can actually pick out the colors you like from the crayon box. Okay, there we go. There it goes portions of the sky. The next step would be grass. So the grass is going to fill in the, the negative space that we have here, just to set um, the background for the ladybug. Okay, so it can be very light. And this can be colored in any way. I just prefer it this way just to mimic the texture of grass. And they can overlap into the blue just a little bit.
for the crafts. And if you have a larger box of crayon and it comes in different kinds of shades, you can even add some dimension to your grass with the, just a darker green. And we kind of add it around the edges because your ladybug is going to take up this entire portion here. Once you are satisfied with the grass, of course, good thing about crayons, we don't need it to dry because it's already dried. We're gonna go ahead and sketch in our ladybug. Our ladybug are very basic shapes. I'm gonna go ahead and sketch it in with black. The head will lay right around where the sky would end and it's just gonna be a half circle. All right, we're gonna measure that out about three fingers. Start out with the dome. Remember, this is a sketch. It does not have to be perfect at all. Arch here. And then just to close it off, around the base. Just like that. Okay. Maybe bug. And we're going to draw in the wings. The wings are like large leaf shapes and it does run off the page. So if it does run off the page, let it do so. Draw with two little circles for the eyes up top here. Okay. And there you go. Once you have your ladybug sketched, how you want it. And of course, you can always go in with a pencil to sketch it out before you color it in with crayon. It's all up to you. And I'm gonna fill in this section of it because these are the wings that are gonna be red and it's opened up, so this part is gonna be black. So I'm just gonna go in and color in this entire section here with black. So feel free to go in and color in the head.
go ahead and put in the spots for your ladybug and there's really no specific number of spots uh, for your ladybug so put in as many as you like some are half full Circles. The circles are about the size of a quarter, but they can range from a dime to get creative with this part. Alrighty. And then I would take my red and fill in everything around it. Fun with the red, we're gonna go ahead and go back with the black and fill in a little bit of that. If you like to fill them in with a different color, you totally can. Don't forget the antennas. We're going to add a little more detail to the grass around it, and that will be little flower buds. And they're really simple, they're just three dots together. Just like little berries. Of course, you can make them in any color you like. This
example, this is my version of Lady But Love. Um, but of course, this can be done in watercolor, uh, food coloring as well, if you like, just to kind of get more experimental. Um, but this is my rendition with crayons.